All right, Shalom. First and foremost, we all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakak Wadash, Double Arms, the Apostle Nails, Great Mills, Norm, teaching us what uh, the warm percent truth, according to the Bible, will rail, uh, and rule well, and peace and blessings so will like to the nation of Israel, take through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bahashim, and Shah, and we'll get into the Lord's will and edifying lesson on the weapons of his indignation. You know, center upon this scripture right here, Jeremiah chapter 50, verse 25. The Lord, Yahweh, Bahashim, and Shah, hath opened his armory, and the armory is a weapon locker, it is a, a, a place where you store uh, weapons, you see? It says, and have brought forth the weapons of its indignation because you seen the show, A Thousand Ways to Die. You see, the Lord has an uh, infinite amount of ways where he can bring judgment upon an individual. In the judgment, uh, uh, the weapon which he desires to use are the weapons of his indignation, you see? And have brought forth the weapons of his indignation, which indignation goes into the Lord's uh, righteous anger. You see, um, <clears throat> and that weapon is what? Those ICBM nuclear missiles, the intercontinental ballistic missiles, which will be shot from Russia, Iran, Turkey, and all uh, nations with nuclear uh, capability here upon America. It says, for this is the work of the Lord of hosts, meaning the Lord of armies in the land of the Chaldeans. In the uh, modern day land of the Chaldeans is where? Here in America. So the Lord has opened his army and he has brought forth the weapons of his indignation to do what? This is um, Isaiah chapter 13. Uh, I'm going to start at five. They come from a far country. What What is coming from a far country? Those intercontinental ballistic missiles. From the end of heaven, even the Lord, you see, and the weapons of his indignation to destroy the whole land. This whole land is talking about America. So those intercontinental ballistic missiles are the weapons of the Lord's indignation it says how ye for the day of the Lord is at hand it shall come as a destruction from the almighty so the day of the Lord you know is going to be a day of destruction you know upon his enemies therefore shall all hands be faint and every one and every man's heart shall melt you see these people are going to be in great fear and all at the power of Yahweh by Shema and Shai. And that's why, you know, it will behoove you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans to repent, to turn back sorrowfully to the God of the Bible and seek his mercy while you still have a chance. Because this judgment will happen uh, whether you repent or not. Verse 8, And they shall be afraid. Pangs and sorrow shall take hold of them. They shall be in pain as their veil as a woman that surveilleth, they shall be amazed one at another. Their faces shall be as flames. Behold, the day of the Lord cometh cruel, both with wrath and fierce anger, to lay the land desolate. And he shall destroy the sinners there of out of it. So the sinners of the nation of Israel, the sinners, you know, those who commit iniquity down here you know, upon the earth and mainly here in America are going to be destroyed, you see, and who aren't covered by the blood of the Lamb, by these weapons of the Lord's indignation. This is uh, Deuteronomy chapter 32, verse... Um, mm. Yep, wow. Um, probably read this whole chapter. Let me get straight to the point. Deuteronomy 32 and 39 it says, See now that I, even I, am He, and there is no God with me. I kill and I make alive, I wound and I heal. Neither is there any that can deliver out of my hands. You see, so when the Lord, you know, when it's His desire to bring forth His and to appease His wrath, the weapons of it. By bringing the weapons of it indignation, which is those nuclear missiles, 
No one's going to be able to deliver you out of the Lord's hands. For I lift up my hand to heaven and say, I live forever. You see, these other gods and idols are not living, but we have the omnipotent, the omnipresent uh, power. You see, the all-knowing and all-present power, Yahweh Shema Shai, on our side, and he is against those that do evil, against those that commit iniquity. Verse 41, if I wet my glittering sword, this word wet uh, means to sharpen. You know, I'm not sure if it's going to say it here. Uh, sharpen, yep, so sharpen the blade. It says, if I wet my glittering sword, and that glittering sword is what? Those nuclear missiles. And my hand take hold on judgment, I will render vengeance upon my enemies and will reward them that hate me. So all the haters of Yahweh by Shema Shah are going to have a taste of the weapons of his indignation. You see? All his enemies. I will make my arrows drunk with blood and my sword shall devour flesh. And that with blood of the slain and of the captives from the beginning of vengeance upon the enemy. So, upon the enemies of Yahweh by Shema Shai, he's going to rain uh, fire and brimstone down out of heaven, you know, and burn you people up. This is uh, Zechariah 14 and 12. And this shall be the plague wherewith the Lord will smite. Smite meaning to kill. You know, strike with a firm blow. Be strongly uh, uh, to someone or something. That's not, uh, no, that's not that. But it says, um, strike with a firm blow. Which I don't know where they got that second definition from. Anyways, this is, um, it says... And this shall be the plague wherewith the Lord will smite, meaning to kill all the people that have fought against Jerusalem. Jerusalem, being the people before us, a place, Jerusalem's the elect of Yahweh by Shema Shai. You see? So even the two thirds of you so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, what are you doing? You're fighting against Jerusalem. So you're going to be smited with the plagues of the Lord's indignation. You see? Their flesh shall consume away while they stand upon their feet. Their, their fle your flesh consuming away, meaning melting off your body while you stand upon your feet. What does that remind you of? You know, uh, Terminator 2 with Sarah Connor when she's seen the vision of nuclear destruction. You see, they show you the vision of the people's flesh consuming away. While they stood upon their feet. It says. Their flesh shall consume away while they stand upon their feet. And their eyes shall consume away in their holes. And their mouth and their tongue shall consume away in their mouth. So this is a judgment that Yahweh by Shema and Shai is prescribing. In what? World War Three, The war to end all wars. The war that is fastly approaching. You know. Isaiah 9 and 5, for every battle of the warrior is with confused noise and garments rolled in blood, but this shall be with burning and fuel of fire. But this World War III, the war, the end all wars, where the Lord will bring out, bring forth the weapons of his indignation upon those who commit iniquity down here upon the earth is going to be with burning and fuel of fire. This is a uh, Revelation chapter uh, eleven and thirteen, and that in the same hour was there a great earthquake. That great earthquake is talking about when America, you know, is penetrated by those nuclear missiles. It's going to cause the whole earth to rock to and fro, like a drunkard. You know, I believe the scriptures talk about the earth shall be removed as a cottage. You know, it says in the tenth part of the city. Fell the tenth part of the city is talking about America. America is broken up into ten of FEMA regions. The area code is from zero to nine. That's the tenth part of the city. And the tenth part of the city fell, meaning it was destroyed. In the earthquake were slain of men seven thousand. Seven thousand meaning completion. So it was um completely destroyed. A complete num it was a complete number of death and destruction 
that Yahweh by Shema Hashai has prescribed for America. This place is going to be a totally, totally wiped out, uninhabitable. An earthquake where slain of 7,000, of men 7,000, and the remnant were affrighted, the remnant, those who stood stiffly for the name of the Lord, the remains of the nation of Israel, the remnant, you see, the remains of scraps, a small remaining quantity of something. You see, Israel being as a sand to see the remains of those who, uh, uh, you know, followed the Lamb were affrighted. Why were they affrighted? Because of all the power and the dev and devastation and destruction the Lord has just brought to the earth. And gave glory to the God of heaven. Why were they given glory? Because they were preserved from that destruction. You see, they were saved out of it. The Lord had mercy upon them. The second woe was passed, and behold, the third woe cometh quickly. The third woe, when the Lord will use the weapons of indignation, is coming quickly. So repent and turn back while you still have a chance. With that, I'm going to say Shalom.